I'm a gay man who supports the family proclamation, a convert to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I'm here to share with you key points as to why I support the family proclamation with the church. The family proclamation, formerly known as the family, a proclamation to the world, is a statement issued in 1995 by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which lays out the church's teachings and a brief, brief beliefs about family, marriage, gender roles, and human sexuality. The key points I'm going to go over and discuss today are one, marriage and family. It, it testifies that marriage between a man and a woman is ordained of God and that the family proclamation is central to the Creator's plan, God's plan, for eternal destiny of his children. Number two, gender. The proclamation states that gender is an essential characteristics of individuals, pre-mortal and eternal identity and purpose. Number three, parental roles and responsibilities. It emphasizes traditional gender roles suggesting that the family's fathers are the, the priest over the household and their families in love and families in love and righteousness and are responsible to provide the necessities of life and protection for their families. Mothers are primarily responsible for the nurturing of their children and caretaking of the family, all outlined in the family proclamation. Number four is the sacred na nature of the, of the protection of why this exists. The proclamation speaks to the sanctity of the power of protection and the importance of these powers being employed only but between man and woman lawfully wedded as husband and wife. And for those that are not members of our faith, we believe that families are eternal and that they're sealed together for eternity in, um, throughout eternity, which I was a huge turning point for me being baptized, knowing that I could provide this for my ancestors. And I can testify that they are receiving those ordinance on the other side of the veil. So, uh, it talks about number five, warning and guidance. It warns that individuals who violate covenants of chastity, who abuse spouses or offspring, or who fail to fulfill family responsibilities will one day stand accountable before God. It also emphasizes the importance of love and respect within families. I have a strong testimony of this. I can't tell you how many times I see families that just have this incredible bond. And why does it look like I have lipstick on? Oh, what is it, one of these filters again? Why does this always happen to me? I am sorry. Um, oh, our friends are watching from the Philippines. I don't know what's going on. This doesn't look like my face. It looks too... Forget it. Let me get back to the message at hand for this Instagram Live. And I'm going to upload this to my YouTube channel. I have a playlist for my Instagram Lives. So it's the, the, I love the warning and the guidance that it offers. And it warns us that... It is also emphasized the importance of love and respect within our families. Number six is societal responsibilities. It calls upon responsible citizens and officers of governments, government everywhere to promote these measures designed to maintain and strengthen the family's family as a fundamental unit of society. Now, I was doing a lesson today with our with some elders. I think they were in Rhode Island. 
and it was with a gay man who was looking to be baptized and he had an issue with the fact that men and women are not allowed to be sealed in the temple or men that same sex couples were not allowed to be sealed in the temple and I said to him you know give it to God he you know and I bared my testimony about the family proclamation without really going into it because he's only had two lessons but I, I went into it briefly and that's what inspired me and apparently every house in the neighborhood has a barking dog right now and I got this filter on I don't know how to get off my face so I'm sorry but that inspired me to put this together and share this with all of you and that's why I'm sharing this so it's a social responsibility that calls on responsible citizens and officers of government everywhere to promote these measures while my situation as a gay man who supports the family proclamation presents a unique perspective within the Latter-day Saint community there is an understanding that while homosexual feelings are not a sin acting on these feelings is considered against the teachings of the church this can create a complex and often challenging situation for LGBTQ members. And I have a hard time with that. I would rather say the gay and lesbian members because adding all these letters and acronyms is something that is just getting out of control as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what happened to the days of us being men or women or boys and girls when we were younger? So let me rephrase that. This can be a challenging situation for gay and lesbian members of the church who may struggle to reconcile their sexual orientation with their faith and the teachings of the church. Many find ways to integrate, like myself, faith in our personal lives. And that is avoiding the appearance of evil and following the covenant set forth by Heavenly Father, which is cemented in our gospel so i understand navigating the complexities of this situation this often involves personal reflection counseling and seeking understanding and support from i'm going to say our church community fellow brothers and sisters within the gospel of jesus christ our ministering brothers our bishop the bishop rick first counselor second counselor our stake president, stake presidency, and those that have the keys and the authority. Uh, Karen4925 says, you make so much sense, plus you are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know, I, I, I can't tell. Is that a, f it looks like I got lipstick on and I got this blush on my face. And I don't, I just want you to see me as me. I'm just, that is, so yeah, what happens this isn't the first time. Want to hear a really funny story? Since you talked about being funny. What about the time I went live when I was on the toilet? <laughs> I was holding my iPad. And I'm sitting like this. And the camera is pointing up to the ceiling. And I look down. I'm like, why are there 1,200 people on here? <gasps> I'm live. And I went, end. So my camera was facing the ceiling. So you got to see the chandelier in the bathroom. Thank goodness that's all you got to see. So my friend Margaret says, I'm thankful for Jesus who loves us all. Me too. Karen says all the colors are very vibrant. Looks pretty. Well, thank you, Karen. I just, I don't, I want to look like myself. Not like I have blush and stuff on. Um, so I have to say there are ways to find, feel, to find around this. As far as like, I'm happy being knowing that when I go to sleep at night, I have the constant comforter or the Leahona, my compass, my, my the, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit, our Savior Jesus Christ. I feel safe and wrapped in their arms. Um, I wanna talk about knowing when to get support if you're dealing, if you're dealing with, if you're struggling with your views on the family proclamation. I personally don't struggle with it. I have believed in it from day one. 
and I didn't really start studying it until I was on the Family Proclamation podcast, which was about three years ago. I recorded that in Draper, and it reminded me of how much I need to focus and study on the Family Proclamation and the importance of that. So my friend Dreamer of Books 21, in spirit of the challenges, thank you for sharing any time. Jenny.ras says, I think you're amazing, Jenny, and I love you back. So I just wanted to say thank you, but I want to close with my testimony, minus whatever filter I have on. So again, I apologize. Hey, Michael, I was just ending. <laughs> you missed it. You have to watch the YouTube version. My friend Michael just joined. And Michael, I think I have one of those filters on again because it looks like I got makeup on and I don't. So I don't know how to do this. So my testimony is simple. When we give it to God earnestly and honestly, he will lift any burden or any questions or doubts that we have. He will... He will answer when we're ready to hear what he has to say. My testimony is, again, I said this before, I'm repeating myself, but prayers are not like a vending machine where you can plop in a few dollars and you want a Coke and it gives you a Diet Coke or vice versa. It doesn't order on demand. Prayers come when God's ready for us to hear it. I can testify that the blessings I felt to be able to do a Zoom with elders in Rhode Island who were teaching this man I never met, that I felt the spirit through being in tune. And I know what it's like to lose that spirit. I know what it's like to not have it. So my testimony is about keeping our spirit oiled, keeping our, our faith constantly checking those gears and tightening those belts and making sure the chains work and all the things run smoothly. And my testimony is rooted in those who are first our savior, then those who are set apart to be prophets, seers, and revelators to know and share with us what is coming in the latter days. And I say this as my testimony in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me tonight. I will upload this quicker on my YouTube channel than I normally do because I just feel it needs to be out there especially with Pride Month this month I just think this needs to go out there I need to flood social media and YouTube with um, with the truth with the truth my friend Karen Hoffman 4925 says the obvious the um, have okay you obviously have the gift of believing thank uh, that is my spiritual gift also my most prized possession is my testimony of the gospel thank you for sharing yours Karen 4925 thank you for that I want to I feel so honored and everyone on here tonight that you shared what your gift is. We all have them. We all have them. Um, amen. Red Hearts. Thank you. Um, our friend Sue of Much says, thanks so much. Sue, you're amazing. You guys are all amazing. Have an awesome night or morning, depending on what part of the world you are. And I'm going to find out if there's a way I can remove this filter before I up load this to YouTube. <laughs> Have an awesome day. My friend Karen says, I could. Bin B Q N says, thank you so much for sharing your testimony anytime. Have a great day, everybody.